Just want to welcome everybody to our Nesiva Shalom Shir for this week. The Shir for Yom Kippur. Although this week we actually do have a Thursday night before Yom Kippur, I just thought about it. I thought that it would probably be um, just a little, uh, a little better to back the Shir up one night. We have a special Yom Kippur message to deliver. Comes Friday, it's tough for people to listen, a busy air of Yom Kippur schedule. So I'm going to record this year tonight, and hopefully we'll have it posted either late tonight or tomorrow. And um, before we even start, I want to wish everybody a gemach It should be a year of good health and simchas, and um, everybody should be zoiche to receive everything that they are davening for, and it should taka be a wonderful, happy year for Klal Yisrael. And it's really just a couple of days, and in two nights from now, we'll already be uh, Yom Kippur night. We would have already davened Kol Nidre, Mayrev, beautiful tefillas of Yom Kippur. And really, we have to look at Yom Kippur as a tremendous opportunity, a special chesed from Hashem that He gives us that once a year we come to this Yom Kippur where we get to lift ourselves up, start anew, develop a close bond, close relationship with Hashem. It's a tremendous, tremendous opportunity and one that should be a very, very happy and uh, positive opportunity for everybody. And uh, in addition, this year, in addition to being Yom Kippur, we also have the special, special schus, the holiness of Shabbos Kodesh too. So anyone who's learned the Siva Shalom knows what it is on a regular Shabbos. Every, what every Shabbos means. If you've learned along with us, you've heard so many different angles and aspects of the tremendous levels that the Siva Shalom tells us that we could reach on Shabbos. And of course, it's this week too. When it comes Shabbos Kodesh and it's Shabbos together with Yom Kippur, Oh, what a what a what a holy day, and what a fantastic opportunity for growth for every one of us. And the Rambam in Perakal of Hilchas Tshuva tells us that there's something inherently special about the day of Yom Kippur, the actual day. And the Rambam says that the day of Yom Kippur attains a kapara for somebody doing tshuva it has something to do with the actual day of Yom Kippur. It's inherently special. The Gemara, Masech the Yuma, Daf Pehei Omed Beis, tells us something really pretty, pretty amazing, in my opinion at least. That when we say that the actual day of Yom Kippur attains kapara for a person, the Gemara tells us that we're saying it even for somebody who has not accomplished doing tshuva. Amazing, right? I mean, the initial thought would be that the first thing you got to do is take care of your business, take care of yourself, take care of doing tshuva. And the Gemara has, has a very novel, very interesting concept that this idea of the day of Yom Kippur attaining kapara for a person is even if a person has not accomplished doing tshuva. And that, that you know, the day itself is that special that it's able to do things, even if for any reason you weren't zaycha to do tshuva. Just being in the day and observing Yom Kippur has the kapara to get a kapara for a person. So Nesiva Shalom asks the obvious question, which I'm sure everybody here and every person here. It, this has to be bothering you, right? How is it possible that a person who is now flawed, which every human being is, right? Every human being has in some way transgressed on Navera, Chait, has not been perfect, so which creates a flawed human being. How do we come and say now that a human being that is flawed because we have sinned is 
that it gets fixed up. The sin is getting fixed up just from being in the day of Yom Kippur. How does that work? If something is broken, we need something to fix it. And what? Just being in the day of Yom Kippur is able to fix that situation, that which becomes of a person after doing Aver, without doing what is required, without doing really uh, what, um, anything to repair what we've broken? How exactly? What is the thought? What is behind that? How does that work? In reality, really... There's a deeper question and a more basic question in this whole tshuva process. And it's something that you might be thinking about too. The Gemara Masech the Baba Kama, Daf Nun Amad Aleph, tells us that a person is never allowed to say that Hashem is a vatran, that Hashem looks away, that Hashem, that we could do something wrong and Hashem looks away and says, no, that's okay. We can't, a person could never say that Hashem looks away from the deeds that a person does. We know that every move that we make and everything that we do is, uh, today it's easy to understand that everything's on camera, right? Everything is recorded. Everything is known to Hashem, of course. So how does it work that on Yom Kippur we're Zoycha to Mechila and Kapara for things that we've done. Hashem knows everything. Hashem knows everything that we've done. So we can't, and, and the Gemara tells us, you're not allowed to say that Hashem looks away from the things that we've done. So how does Kapara work on Yom Kippur? Hashem is looking away from the things that we've done? It can't be that because we're not allowed to say that. So how does this whole process work? And one of the answers given to this question is that on Yom Kippur, Hashem does something very, very special to us very and very, very special for us. On Yom Kippur, Hashem lifts us totally, Hashem uh, spiritually for sure, lifts us totally, totally out and above any of our sins and, ble- and blemishes. We're lifted up. We're going totally to a different world. And that's something that the actual day of Yom Kippur does. When Yom Kippur comes, Hashem says, you're at least wanting to be closer to Hashem. In your mind, you want to be better. Hashem says, the day of Yom Kippur comes, I'm going to take you and I'm going to lift you up. Hashem says that the day of Yom Kippur itself, we wanted to know what does the day of Yom Kippur do? The day of Yom Kippur itself takes you and lifts you up. So of course, of course Hashem knows every single little thing that we've done. But we are not, and when it comes to Yom Kippur, we're not in the world with our Averis. We're not in the world with our blemishes. We're not in the world where we have sinned. Hashem removes us and lifts us up above there. So therefore, we are forgiven. Hashem's not looking away. Hashem Kaviyachov, Hashem, of course, is not forgetting, but Hashem lifts us and takes us away from our chatoim, lifts us up above. As in the Pasuk, the Pasuk says, right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying, I will lift you up on the wings of a nesher, of an eagle. Vo'avi eschem Eloi, Pasuk in Parshas Yisroi, right? That Hashem is going to lift us up I'm going to bring you, I'm going to lift you up and bring you closer to me, which means I'm taking you to a totally different realm, totally into a different world. Hashem has the power, of course, to lift us out and above and bring us closer to Hashem. And if a person, but all this, there's a requisite over here. All that has to be, the person's not holding himself back. A person can't be saying, uh, thinking that they are something. If a person is mevatel themselves, this is a tremendous gula on Yom Kippur. If a person is mevatel themselves totally on Yom Kippur to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and we think and we say to Hashem that we are totally yours now, we're in your hands, we are totally yours now, and we don't, so we don't, you know, we don't exist here as we did before Yom Kippur, we want to be different, where then we are totally given over to Hashem, and Hashem lifts us up. Hashem says, oh, you're mine? So now I'm your Avinu, I'm your Malkeinu, 
I'm your father. I love you. I'm your king. I take care of you. I can do anything for you. You're being a vato yourself. You're taking yourself out of the um, equation. You want to separate yourself from the deeds, maybe some negative deeds that you've done over the past year. You're giving yourself over to be. Mavat yourself to Hashem. Hashem lifts you up. And that's a tremendous segula on Yom Kippur, something to remember. And this idea and yisoid for this special um, the special segula, the special, the day, the segula in the day of Yom Kippur, being mechaper, getting a kapara for us, by being mevatel oneself to Hashem. And this is actually brought down, the Siva Shalom brings down this segula on Yom Kippur, brings it down from the Maral, in the Drush, Drushes Maral. The Maral talks at greater length about this. We can't get into, uh, into the entire length of it right now. But suffice it to say that to keep that idea in mind is a tremendous gula. Being the vato oneself to Hashem, making us ourselves available to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that He can lift us up. And the more we cleave to Hashem, the more we enter the world where no hate exists. Well, as we get closer to Hashem, we go to that world, and in that world above where Hashem takes us, no hate exists. And as we have said a number of times, from the Kedusha Slavi, we spoke about it a couple of weeks so, weeks ago also, that Yom Kippur, with all the davening, and with all the tshuva that we want to do on Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur is only mechaper when a person is mevatel themselves to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Otherwise, our sins can be overwhelming. Be mevatel ourselves to the will and to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And Hashem, of course, is tohar, as we know, the uh, epitome, the ultimate Purity, the ultimate tahara, is with a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And Yom Kippur, as we say, we're bevatel ourselves and we want to come close to Hashem, we want to connect to Hashem. So as we know that anything that it wants to be, anything that is um, want, is connected to Tar, is, becomes Tar. And we are coming closer to our Kaddish Baruch Hu, who is the ultimate, um, the ultimate tahara, in the world. So now we have a little understanding of what this actual day of Yom Kippur is. And of course, a person has to try as much as he can to do tshuva, of course, in a positive way where the tshuva should lead to making positive changes, not chas v'shom, to beat yourself down because if, you, if a person beats themselves down before or on Yom Kippur, the Yitzhahara has you exactly where he wants you because then you're never going to grow. You're never going to change. And as the Bali Musar say, and all the Svarim say, that, and the Sivya Shalom, that, that, that all the Svarim say that you should go ahead and make yourself a small Kabbalah. Some say, t- make, take a Kabbalah and cut it in half and then cut it in half again. And just then, then maybe you'll have something, you know, when you make these grandiose plans for changes and everything, we all know that they don't work and that they don't happen. So the uh, an idea that I think might be a good idea is to take something small that you know you can accomplish, that you know you can make that change. Maybe even write it down. And then like even every Rosh Chodesh, look at it and say, how am I doing? Don't get down on yourself. It wasn't such a great month. Next month we're going to be a little better. Whether it means coming a few minutes early to davening, being Makabal Shabbos a few minutes early, speaking with a little more respect, listening to le- less or n- not listening to Lashon Hara, all these things, small Kabbalahs. And when a person thinks of connecting to Hashem through these small Kabbalahs and being the Vatel themselves, Hashem, why am I making this small Kabbalah? I'm making this Kabbalah because I want to connect to you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the more sins we have, the more barriers that are around us. So if I inch myself a little bit closer, I'm putting myself in your hands, Kaviyach HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But when it comes to Yom Kippur, if I couldn't accomplish everything with Tshuva, Hashem, you're lifting me up and you're taking me to a different world. You're taking to the world where there is only Tahara, where there are no sins, there is no hate. And we wish everyone, Hatzlacha, just think a little bit, keep yourself happy, upbeat. What a schus we have to connect the Kosh Baruch Hu. Everyone should talk a hand, G'mar Chsima Toiva, Agut Keben Shiar. We look forward to Amir Tashem the next year of Shiurim. Hopefully, We'll, we'll still have a share before Sukkot. The Marcha Sima Toiva to all.